Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, you should unplug the power cord before beginning. To replace the ice maker mold and heater in your freezer, first remove the ice bucket. Now lift up the ice access door and pull off the ice maker cover. Remove the bottom screw securing the ice maker assembly mounting bracket. Now loosen the top screws and lift the assembly off of the screws. Be aware the ice tray will likely be filled with water or ice. Next, release the thermal fuse from the retaining clip. Depress the retaining tab to release the wire harness. Remove the ice maker assembly from the freezer and set it on a sturdy surface. Detach the ice level arm. Now remove the screws securing the control module and pull the module off. Next, remove the screws securing the control module housing to the mold. Separate the housing from the mold. Remove the ice rake and lift out the ice ejector bar. Pull off the fill cup. Prepare the new ice maker mold and heater for installation by transferring the assembly bracket and retaining clip from the old mold to the new one. You can use pliers to remove the clip and a hammer to tap it into place on the new mold. Position the fill cup on the new mold and insert the ice ejector bar. Reposition the ice rake and slide on the control module housing. Replace the screws to secure. Now align the control module with the housing and rotate the ice ejector bar until the module can be fully seated. Secure the module with the screws. Replace the ice level arm by inserting the back end of the arm into the fill cup, then insert the front end into the control module housing. Returning to the freezer compartment, snap the wire harness into place on the assembly and secure the thermal fuse under the retaining clip. Align the fill cup with the water spout as you position the assembly on the screws. Tighten the screws. Replace the bottom screw to secure the assembly mounting bracket. Snap the cover onto the ice maker and close the ice access door. Replace the ice bucket. If you have trouble positioning the bucket, you can rotate the auger to fully seat the drive coupler. You're now ready to plug the power cord back in and confirm that the new ice maker is working properly.